Hey guys, welcome back to Arabin Outdoors. I'm Arabin, but you knew that, didn't you? Hey, today I want to give you guys a quick garden update. And uh, note to future self, maybe don't overpopulate the garden next year. I think I, I think I might have done that this year. I have three raised bed gardens that I did last year, so this is year number two. And so far I am very pleased with most of the results. Uh, check out these tomato plants. These things are just about as tall as I am. And I have no doubt before long they will be as tall as I am. Haven't been able to pick a tomato yet, but boy have we got a lot of them down in there. Now last year I put four tomato plants in this garden and that was fine. But for some reason this year, I said, well, let's plop one in the middle here and put five. And I think, as you can see, it's a little overgrown. It looks like just one giant tomato hedge. But let me show you a little bit closer up this one and the other two beds as well. All right, so as you can see, these are just, uh, this is my mater bed, as a mater of fact. <laughs> and I have four, uh, five bushes in there. And you can start to see we're already starting to get some little tomatoes all in through there. I planted these little flowers just for, you know, just for appearance. Here's another little one up here. Another, some more little ones back there. Got a clump of them right here down here I have some Italian oregano it's being a little overshadowed of course I have trimmed it down some you can see and used some of it all of the herbs that I have blended in this garden have turned out really well yielded a lot of parsley oregano cilantro see we have another bunch up in here Here's another bunch down here, and uh, we've got some going up over here. Here's a little, a couple of little ones over here. So, pretty soon we're going to be yielding a lot of tomatoes, and that's what we want. So yeah, that's the tomato bed. These little flowers, I don't know what they're called, but they're pretty. And they add. And then again over here, I have some oregano that I planted in. It's just Italian oregano. And again, overshadowed by the tomatoes, but I have been cutting it down and using it. So, yeah. Tomatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes. Can't wait to have some tomato and mayonnaise sandwiches. Here's some more over here. So, uh, yeah, looks like we're going to have a lot of tomatoes, guys. All right, let's move over to the Weedem and Reap bed. This is a lettuce. We've been getting a lot of lettuce, guys. We've already been eating this lettuce like crazy. And this lettuce here, you can see, has been cut down because we've been using it. I cut this one just about completely down the other day to use for a salad that we took over to my daughter's house. And uh, this is uh, Great Lakes Head Lettuce. And I'll tell you what, it's good. Over here we have the romaine lettuce. You can see these tall red, it's red romaine. And again, we've been having these things grow so big I've been feeding it to the rabbits. They love it. A couple more of these little flowers. This dill plant in the back is doing really well. I don't know how to use dill. Never have cooked with dill. You hear the woodpecker? That's pretty cool. He's back there all the time. Anyway, hey, leave me a comment in the section below what I'm supposed to do with this dill. I've never used dill before for cooking, and I, I, I don't know if you use it fresh or if you cut it and you dry it out, but it's getting pretty tall. 
I planted it here because Anthony over at Palmetto Prepared said that I should plant dill with cucumbers. It would help the cucumbers. <laughs> and uh, over here we have the peppermint. It flavors her her drinking water. And you can see the cucumbers here are taking over this poor peppermint bush. Yeah. You see, look at these cucumber vines. They are very invasive. These are Boston pickling cucumbers. And uh, I had to put these poles here to let them start climbing. I'm going to have to do something else to let them climb. The only thing I'm disappointed so far in the garden is my cucumbers because I haven't been able to pick one cucumber yet. I haven't really seen other than like a few. See here, we got a few little buds that have started on these Boston pickling. Here's one here. And uh, that's about it. Just a couple there little buds we've got lots of the, uh, the pretty yellow flowers the blooms and then back here we have just uh, these are just regular what do you call those patio snacker cucumbers and we haven't had any luck with these either no god please no no you can see down here there's a couple of little teeny buds that are that have started but no and there's some more little buds down in there but the cucumbers are just taking their own sweet time i mean they're they're healthy obviously because look how pretty the leaves are and big and they're definitely growing but just not producing it's all there black and white clear as crystal you get nothing you lose good day sir this is about the biggest one we've got so far. Nice. So, let me get that green dead leaf out. I don't know. Maybe but the lettuce, man. This romaine and this lettuce over here has been growing like crazy. Alright, now let's move over to this garden. Here, I just, a couple of days ago, chopped down my, got a lot of chives. We've been using them like crazy. And again, these things grow like crazy. And uh, these are the sweet onions. These chives are good on baked potatoes or in just about anything. Very flavorful. I've chopped them down low, but in no time they'll be this, they'll be up to here again. In the back there you can see the sweet potatoes. Apparently they're doing well. The vines look very healthy and green and are growing, spreading. I don't know what the potatoes underground look like if they're even in existence right now but or the top part of the sweet potatoes at least are looking looking good right here I've been using the heck out of this this is one thing that probably grows the best and uh, this is cilantro I've been making some salsa with the cilantro and the oregano and the chives I've been having to buy diced tomatoes because we don't have any tomatoes out of our garden there yet but the cilantro man you can see I've cut it how much I've cut it back this thing was up to here and I've been cutting from around the sides to kind of maintain it now back here we've got some peppers these are some sweet banana peppers and you can see there are lots of little buds fixing to fixing to come out um, I picked uh, two yesterday Here's one down here. That's not quite ready. Here's another little one. That's starting And some more back there and uh, like I said, these are the uh, Sweet banana peppers. I have picked some of these other Gypsy sweet peppers. I've, I've picked several of them. You see there's uh, there's one here there's one here and then you can see we got some more starting all up here there'll be some over here so uh, 
Yeah, these uh, gypsy sweet peppers are pretty good. Not much different than the banana peppers, but uh, over here is something I've been using a lot of again, parsley. Grows like crazy. I told you about those uh, little scrawny looking mint sprigs that I got from my mother-in-law. Planted three of them. You can see they're doing very well. And man, I love the way they smell. And this is just, I don't know what kind of mint it is. It's just mint. But they're doing well as good. They're doing good as well. And then the last one I have here, I've got some jalapenos that have started. See, there's one there. One there. I don't know how big these guys will get before I pick them. But we got some more little buds coming up. So we'll have yeah, jalapenos here before too long. Anyway, that's just a little tour of the raised bed gardens. This is my second year. I'm very happy with the results. Um, I hope that I'm going to get some cucumbers. I just need to be a little bit more patient with them, I guess. They seem to be healthy. All of this rain that we've had here recently in South Carolina has sucked as far as golf and kayaking go. But it's been great for the garden. But anyway, that's all I got for you today, guys. I appreciate you coming along on Urban Outdoors. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider it. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Leave me some comments in the section below about the deal. And until uh, next time, keep calm, carry on, keep it outdoors.